Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Brian M. from YouTube. And this video is going to be about acquiring a hall ID number and registering a boat in Massachusetts. You may or may not live in the state of Massachusetts. Most states have similar laws, but they're not exactly the same. So if you live in Massachusetts, this is how I've done it. This is how I recommend doing it. If you live in another state, please feel free to stay and watch and learn because there could be some tips or information here that will be helpful to you. The Hall ID number, or HIN, is a unique 12-digit number assigned by the manufacturer to vessels built after 1972. It's located and affixed to the rear of the transom on the upper right or starboard side. Massachusetts will assign Hall ID numbers to vessels built before 1972 homemade boats, and those without factory designations. What you need to have your boat inspected by the Massachusetts Environmental Police. Identification, driver's license or government issued form of ID. Bill of sale, it's important to include details. It's easy to overlook color, year, of the vessel make make sure that you get all that information with the seller at the time of the sale if the boat has a title and in massachusetts that's for boats 14 feet or longer shorter than 14 feet they won't have a title in some states if you buy it from out of state do not assign titles for boats based on year or size as well so if there's a title to the boat be sure that it's signed over and if there isn't a title you need a copy of the seller's registration, so the previous registration to the boat. If you have a title and a copy of the registration, that's even better. If the boat is homemade, you need receipts for the materials used to build the boat as proof of purchase. And you can go online to Massachusetts if you bought the boat on a private sale and pay the taxes to the state on the sale. That's gonna be important to do. Or inspection of the boat after you've called the 800 number that I've listed and an inspection officer will contact you and arrange a time and place to inspect your boat and your paperwork now in the cases that I've had they've each time they've come out to my home to inspect the boat but if you have a large boat that isn't at your home and at a marina I'm sure that they'll meet you there and I have heard of people having to take their boat to a certain location. That hasn't been the case for me, but I've heard of it, so keep in mind that that's a possibility. Once the inspection is complete, you will receive an inspection certificate, and that must be presented when registering your vessel. So after you meet with the officer who comes to give you your paperwork, you then take that paperwork to the registration. At the registration, your boat will be assigned a hall ID number, on paper and in Massachusetts that will start with the letters MSZ. You must prove to the registration office that the Hall ID number has been placed on your boat before you receive your registration card and decal. I was issued a Hall ID number along with the registration number but not the decal or official registration paper until after I placed two Hall ID plates on the boat. One on the transom upper right and the other on the hull of the boat in a place not easily seen up front. These two hull ID plates or tags need to be permanently attached and photographed for registration office as proof the work has been done. Only then will you receive the decal and registration paperwork. I'd just like to say that this is not impossible at all and it's not really that difficult just time consuming and while no one enjoys dealing with the state registration office I can say that my experience with the field officers has been pleasant and they have been very respectful I've done this three times and it's worked all three times so best of luck to you in whatever it is you're trying to register in your circumstances. 
just know that you can do it. It takes a little bit of time. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.